Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Levels Daily Devotional Podcast. The Open Levels is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Hie Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I pray that as you listen to today's episode, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's study the Word of God together. Today, July 11, year 2024, the title of our Open Heavens for today is The Law of Rest. Before we continue, let us pray. Jesus, our Lord and our God, our Savior, we say thank you for today. Eternal Father, we honor you, we exalt you, we all we adore you for the things that you have done for us. Thank you for the grace to be part of the living today. Thank you for the privilege to be able to study and receive from you. Lord, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that even as we study your word, help us understand your word in the name of Jesus. We ask that the grace to believe, to be doers of your word, you will give to us in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from Hebrews chapter 4 verse 10. And it says, For he that is entered into his rest, he also had ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Our Bible passage is taken from Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 to 11. Remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest, dedicated to the Lord your God. On that day, no one in your household may do any work. This includes you, your son and daughters, your male and female servants, your livestock and any foreigners living among you. For in six days, the Lord made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and everything in them. But on the seventh day, he rested. That is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and set it apart as holy. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us go into the open heavens as written by a father in the Lord. After creation, God rested on the seventh day, Genesis chapter 2 verse 2. How is it that the almighty, all-powerful God needed to rest? He did not need to rest. He can never be tired. If he had been tired, then he would have been tired at least once in all the thousands of years since the earth was made. Psalm 121 verse 4 says, that he never sleeps nor slumbers. Therefore resting on the seventh day was not for him but for us. He was establishing a law that we should follow for our own good, the law of rest. Exodus chapter 34 verse 21 The law of rest is to be applied to your land, animals and staff. You must not let your staff work for seven days a week. They must have at least one day to rest and be refreshed. Exodus chapter 23 verse 12 This is important for them to be productive the next week. Also, you will get the best out of your farmland if you leave it to rest for one year every seven years. Leviticus chapter 25 verse 4 It is a law that will increase your productivity greatly. If you think that working for seven days will bring more productivity than working for six days a week, you are wrong. There is a fast food restaurant in the United States of America that works for only six days and is closed on Sundays. The restaurant is one of the fastest growing fast food restaurants in the world. Resting for one day every week greatly improves your productivity as opposed to working for seven days a week. Working continuously without rest will damage an individual's health. Many people have died because they did not rest as they ought to. 
going against this law can bring great danger to a fellow's health and life. I was telling one of my sons about the law of rest and he looked at me in a funny way as if to say, you, do you rest? I told him that I rest even though he may not know it. I wouldn't be this productive if I don't rest. In fact, there are periods in the year when I don't go anywhere. I just stay in a quiet place to rest. My body will no longer be useful to God if I damage it just because I am so zealous about the ministry that I will disregard the law of rest. Hallelujah. I believe that today's open levels is so straightforward and it's speaking to all of us. We want to make money. We want to do this. We want to get to the peak. But we need rest. I've seen a lot of people say, Oh, if you sleep for so so, so number of hours in a year, you sleep for this, you sleep for that. But the question is, do you need that sleep or not? I think that should be the priority. Like somebody said, he said, if you don't sleep, your body will take that sleep by force. And a lot of times, the, the period when your body wants to take that rest because you did not rest initially, it is when you have more important things to do and then you are not able to do it. I have seen myself in situations that I just tell myself, Madam, you need rest. I have seen myself sick and I have seen my children playing, do the things that normally I would do for them, maybe okay, do this, do that, and they will be doing it by themselves. And I ask myself, so why have I been stressing myself? Then why am I stressed? And I will tell myself, so if anything happens to me, so this is how these children will continue with their life. But it is a sad reality that we must accept. Please rest. That company will move on without you. That business will move on without you. The friends, the children, the husband, the wife, your parents, your siblings, every other person will move on without you. It is normal. It is natural. They may find it difficult at first, but with time, they will get used to not having you around. So rest, so that you will not rest in peace. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. A key point for today, work hard, but make sure you take out time to rest so you do not wear out your body. A hymn for today, when peace like a river attended my way, a Bible in one year, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 to 12. Shalom. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. I believe you have been blessed. If you would love to reach out to us, kindly reach out to us via this phone number plus 234 and if you want to reach us, reach out to us. If you want to reach out to us by email, you can reach out to us via the email contact at beautifulrosesnigeria.org. And also, if you like to sow into this podcast, you can also reach out to us via the website. There is a place for donations there. Or you can also send us an email. And if you can also visit our website for more educational and Christian content. Thank you. God bless you and have a great day. Bye.